What's going on guys? I'm going to show you how to change this lock out real quick to master lock the easy way. Basically take this bolt off, uh, spin it until all the way left so you can pull this out. You bring your lock over here. What you do, you take that out. Now this master lock is a little bit more narrow than that and you need to make sure that you get the 1 and 1 8 inch. I had to order these from Lowe's. Uh, to get it to fit. We've already put one in that rack, but I want them all keyed the same and plus These locks are way better than these locks in my opinion. I'm gonna show you the easy way to do this So you can get your bit Set this right here so you can see you can Pliers you can use a vise I prefer to just do it on the back of the truck with some pliers you Get you a 3 8 drill bit on a drill. You're not gonna hurt this hole. You just drill Now that we drill through that, you're going to want to wallow it out just a little bit more. Don't worry about getting the hole too big because you're not going to mess this up. What you're doing, you're making this hole wider this way for the new master lock. As you can see that took me probably all of about five seconds now that will allow your master lock to slide in and turn and there you go and you just put it back in the assembly just how you had it and you need to make sure that it will lock well I need to take a little bit more out of this but not much let's see get my pliers again Wallet some more. Alright, let's see if that did it. Like I said, this only takes like two seconds. It's a must-have, in my opinion, with these racks. All right, we have enough room to lock it. What you're gonna do? Bring you back over here. Make sure that is in that position. Slide your lock in there. Where, where it goes in. Turn this back. Put your bolt back in the back. Bam. You ain't getting that. But uh, like I said. You do want to make sure you put this bolt back in the back, but man, it makes it so much easier with this master lock, man. It's it's so smooth. Uh, but anyway, that's how you do it in about two seconds. All you need is a 3 8 drill bit and a 16 millimeter wrench for the back. Peace.